and welcome to Fireside Sounds. Big hello to everyone tuning in tonight from all around the world. Lucky for me, I have three wonderful guests in studio to have a chat and a nice cup of tea. Next week, as you will know, is Valentine's Day. Most people will be concerning themselves with what card or Prezi to get for their loved ones or potential loved ones. Top on the list of pampering for lots of women would be their hair. I'm joined in studio by Ambrose Clinton and also Marie Spellier, and I'm delighted to have them here to get some advice. Ambrose. Good evening, how are you? You're very welcome indeed. How are Thanks you? So much. Good, good. Listen, you are the expert in hair as far as I'm concerned. Let's have a talk about what's in and what's out hair-wise. Well, hair-wise, let's say for going out uh, for Valentine's night, um, Really, let's say last year, uh, people would have worn their hair very loose and curly, maybe the whole way down. Uh, this year, it would involve to be a little bit more height involved in it. Okay, um, so I'm okay at the moment, am I? You'll be okay for oh, the moment. Oh, great. Um, but we just get this higher and a little bit smoother. Okay. Um, maybe introducing some loose curls, and also sometimes the curls on the ends are kind of been teased a little bit, so it's a little bit more ruffled looking. So a sort of a Edwardian, is it sort of retro style or are we gone futuristic? No, it's 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 really, really hard to say. Yeah. It, it's it just, you put in the curls and then you just slightly back home it so it looks oh, a little, bit, little yeah. bit really on set looking. Um, and you can do it in Ambrose Clinton. Oh yes, absolutely. Yeah. Is this something that you get a lot of demands now, say coming up to Valentine's Day, and people want their hair differently for that night out? Well, you always look at like uh, it's it's there are people now doing styles for next year, um, and really a lot of people will still go for curl this year, okay. uh, maybe half up, half down, um, and I forget what the question was exactly. That's okay. We're looking at Maurice's hair now. She has very straight, beautiful blonde hair. Is this very in vogue at the moment? Would you say? Well, Maurice would. She's a great hand at her own hair indeed, uh, and she she would normally wear it up. And down, but we were a little bit in the rush this evening and, and constantly different. changing, <laughs> constantly changing. Well, the thing is, I think as well, it's very elegant, isn't it, when somebody has it straight and down. And I think it's a, a sense of style that doesn't go out, does it really? It, as does, well. it never goes out. No. And sometimes you get people and they have um, straight hair and sometimes they feel if they're going out that they have to put it up. And you actually don't have to put it up. And if you look at hair at the moment, sometimes you see people now where they have one side of their hair shaved off. And uh, they, they might say, oh God, what is it? there's nothing that they can do with this. But this can be kind of, it's high fashion, it's street fashion at the moment. So they could certainly soften out the other side of it or whatever. Okay. Then there are people that might be a little bit more, um, that would go for more really definite hairstyles. And if you go for more really definite hairstyles at the moment, like I would feel like the strong fringes are in, okay. um, maybe even shave maybe on one side or in yeah. fact you could get it even at shorter lengths and um, just really anything goes i mean you don't just because you don't have an amount of hair and um, doesn't mean that you have to that you can't you know style you it can't up style it do something yeah like exactly it. and like i mean you can always like if people were really very anxious to have long hair or whatever you can always get temporary pieces or whatever or you could go for a longer option and, and get get bonded hair extensions you know it just depends on what people want okay. so uh, in other words you could use color as a different tactic really yeah we would absolutely like color is 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 phenomenal at the moment um like we have we have something very very revolutionary coming along at the moment where we will be able to actually paint on color and it wow. won't yeah, it will, it's, 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 I'm really excited about it. I think it will be brilliant um, where we could kind of use two colours right beside each other and they won't intermix. Brilliant. One won't run into the other and we'd be very excited about that because you get a lot of people now using this balayage which you would see with all the stars. Now that's where you dip it. It looks like it's dipped. Is that it how looks the right like, look? From all one for a better term, it looks like badly done highlights. Okay. <laughs> but it's not necessarily always badly done highlights in a sense because this can be done in a three dimensional way. We would have to actually have to section hair in different ways in order to achieve different looks. Okay. Right. So you get this three dimensional effect Brilliant. on the hair. Oh right? fantastic. And it works really well. 
So that's an exciting that. new profession in hair Well, it is, yeah, really yes, well. and yes, and this is, yeah, absolutely. And and then if you wanted to carry on about something else that's coming in that's very innovative, yeah. will mean we have a product uh, that I'm just testing at the moment where you can put it in the hair and it will take in about 10 or 15 minutes. So wow. the plan for that would be that we'll do, be able to do a lunchtime colour. Wow. Somebody in really That's fantastic, isn't it, fantastic, really? Yeah. Especially, I mean, not that I obviously need colour at this stage, but when I'm a little bit older, I might have to. No, I need all the help <laughs> I can get, though, so I do. And so it must be very exciting being a hairdresser. Do you find lots of diff different kinds of people come into, you know, into the Ambr Ambrose Clintons and yeah, we great deal, chats? We deal with, with very wide variation in age group and people. Uh, and it's, it's a fantastic career and a fantastic job. Uh, because you do get to you get to meet different people. You get to pe where get, meet people that want very very different hairstyles and so on. Um, What's the strangest request you've ever had, from long hair to bald to? To see, there's nothing strange oh, okay. anymore, <laughs> right? Because like I've cut lines in people's hair. We've done designs in them. There's, uh, we've done everything down through the years. You know, right. like it has moved. It has moved dramatically in the last number of years. Like. I did my uh, training and working originally with Fidel Sassoon's, which would be all kind of, I was there just after this kind of five point cut, um, very distinctive, hard, definite lines. And then we went through stages where we definitely broke all the lines. We would have chopped into them, texturized them, all that kind of thing. So like it has progressed. Everything in all aspects of hairdressing have, has progressed. Brilliant. Yeah. So the bob, is it in, out, where is that progressing? Well, the bob, a classic bob will always be there, yeah. I presume. But there are different variations of it. Um, I, like, uh, if, you, if I go back to, let's say, if you shave one side of your hair, you could definitely shave one side of your hair, okay. go for a very strong line in the back and go very long on a bob here. And it absolutely will look brilliant. And then you, you, you topple that up with, with doing some very exciting colours in it. Brilliant. I mean, you can you can put in what colours you like and it can just enhance the whole the whole look. Brilliant. I mean, you can have ordinary, you can have a very ordinary type of head, head of hair and you could do a beautiful haircut on it. And sometimes it just needs a little bit of colour in order to edge it up. That's the key, isn't it? You That's have to key. be creative. That's so when somebody, when absolutely. your customer comes in front of it, do you have to think for them or do they have ideas already? Well, sometimes people have ideas and they might bring in photographs and there's nothing wrong with that because if people have an idea, it obviously makes our job a little bit easier. Now you will get people coming in and definitely what they bring in may not suit them. Okay. So you just have to be diplomatic and move it or adjust it or whatever you need to do. Right. Uh, certainly, let's say, if you look at some of our more very definite styles, uh, you you would be talking about very definite fringes, like I I would love to, uh, at the moment like if we do a very kind of grey type of blonde with maybe slight little touches of dark through it. Fabulous. It would be it's fabulous. Yeah. So you've great ideas for next week for women. Absolutely. Then. Anybody yeah. going into Ambrose Clintons who definitely going to get a change or something exciting or something new. Um, Reese. How does it feel being a hairdresser? Is it exciting for a young woman to be involved in changing somebody's look? Do you, do you find a woman's confidence can change by Yeah, the definitely, hair? and it's good to see that. You know, yeah. it really does lift you yourself, you know, that you, you know, and making people happy, so. Um, and what's yeah, your so favorite type of style at the moment, hair-wise? Now, you, hair, you wear yours down. Well, today it's down, but, yeah. but <laughs> normally. It'd different. Yeah, it'd be different all the time, I love. Mm. All the up styles and stuff like that, Brilliant. you know. I really and you enjoy can do that. those in Oh yeah, yeah. Brilliant. I really enjoy that. Yeah, yeah. So I'd be my hair would be different all the time. It's always every day. different. Every, every day. day. Yeah. Every and, day. Yeah. and do you find because you work so much with hair that you're ma far more aware of your own hair the whole time as well? Yeah. So the the, the <coughs> ambassador for the salon as such as well. Yeah. So what's your favourite part of working through the day with the customer? Is it the creative side? Being with me. <laughs> <laughs> a great yeah. boss. Of course, of course, is that it? Of course. Well, oh no, too, I don't have like, not a real boss at all. <laughs> no. Don't part know. of the team. Oh, no, no. Yeah. So who else is in your team, Ambrose? Do you want to say hi to them? There's the camera there. You ready to say hi to them straight well, we in have there? All all our staff, so we look forward to seeing you tomorrow or over the weekend. Um and anybody who listens to this. Oh, generally, like, uh, yeah, we, we, we would do up styles 
well, certainly hairdressing at the moment is not expensive. Okay. Like it has been reduced and reduced, um, from the all time highs maybe of 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 two thousand and eight or two thousand and seven. We would be doing upstyles and thing between like, thirty and forty euros. It just depends on on what Hours. we do, right? right? Which is like it's quite reasonable. It's not. It, it takes a good bit of work. Um. How long and, roughly? Hour or two hours. It depends. It depends. It depends. Okay. It depends. Yeah. We would be. You would definitely. You might do a half hour to an hour. Okay. Right. Depending on what you have. have. Like That's why our price have. might vary slightly yeah. on what right. work you yeah. do, yeah. right? Depending on yeah. Um, and like, anybody who hears this, I, I we will give them a further ten percent off on that. Fantastic. Yeah. So guys, you heard it here first. If you say Cavan TV when you go into Ambrose Clinton's or when you're booking, you're guaranteed to get something on yes, it as well. Look after and it. they will definitely look, look after you. And um, have you any plans yourself for Valentine's or are you going to be working hard? I don't know what day it is. Oh. <laughs> but my, is and my sister is getting married. So, oh. yeah. So it would be a nice week. Yeah, for everybody. Nice oh, yeah that's party. lovely. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Good. You'd want to wish her well. Yeah. You better say a word. Yeah. Somebody's getting married here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> say a word. Hi, Savan. <laughs> <laughs> Don't yeah. be shy. We're well yeah. used to yeah. here as well. Yeah. Yeah. Now, listen, I'd love to talk more about hair. Obviously, it's one of my favourite things in the world. But it's great that there's a deal on in Ambrose Clinton's. And you're going to give them some personal service when they arrive in as well. Because you know what you're doing, it. don't you? And I'm yeah. delighted to hear a little bit about it. I think we're actually going to go for an ad break, but first, before we do, I want to say thank you very much for coming thank in to studio and talking about thank it. Thank you very much. God bless. Appreciate thank it. You. Thank See you soon, guys. Yeah. Thank you. Pat Short here. You're watching Cavan TV. I'm Gavin Duffy and I'm saying watch CavanTV.com. It's a great opportunity to see some great programs and you can watch it all around the globe via the internet and on many platforms. I watch it myself, great stuff. I'm joined in studio by someone I consider a bit of a business guru. Welcome Mr. Morris Muldoon, how are you? I'm well Marianne, Great to yourself? see you, good to have you in here with me. Tell me. Where does a man like you start and then suddenly take such an amazing journey and arrive at 13 stores, is it now, a click? That's right, Mary. Where do I start? Um, the youngest of nine, a uh, farmer's son from Roscommon, west of Ireland. And um, sort of always had an interest in IT, electronics. That's what my background went to college in Dundalk. Uh, Good old Dundalk. Yeah. And uh, served me time there. Did the old electronic engineering and... Um, then moved to the uh, to London and worked with Canon for in total ten years, but five years in London, three years in Belfast, and two in Dublin. So that's where I got that sort of an interest in that whole uh, IT computer. I mean, I was originally trained as an engineer, but I suppose the day I was qualified, I realised I didn't want to do engineering. I was more involved in sales and that's where I sort of developed my career from there. But you're extremely good at promotion as well Mr Muldoon I notice. Now we have a few pictures here I think we're going to go and have a look at them and see. Do you want to tell me a little bit about this one here? Um, we we were obviously we were an agent for 3 Mobile for, for years especially to a broadband and that so we were uh, we qualified for an award in the northeast region and uh, that was at the one of the ceremonies with old Hector. Hector's a bit of a gas character, he is a bit of a, is he? A bit of a character as well. And he's an album man as well. Oh so. yeah, absolutely. Well, we got great support that night. 
this particular picture was um, when we, we qualified for uh, business of the year for uh, Carlo Chamber of Commerce. And um, uh, again, we were, we, were, we were there on that particular night to receive the award for it. Um, and you're liking uh, your tuxedo there, Mr. Muldoon. I know. And then the, oh, uh, look at this. Well, the, the launch, see, the company was originally called Cantec. And uh, Cantec was obviously a brand that wasn't going to fit with the retail space. So in 2008, we relaunched the whole brand after you know a, a previous number of years to click.ie and okay. uh, this was the launch night of, of that particular um of that particular um company and you know something click is a lot snappier isn't it now you remember i think a little bit quicker well click. people people say to me you know would you come up with click or whatever it took uh, 18 months from the start of it to okay. the development of it to the the whole copyright protection of it etc and uh, it's 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 been a great success so far. Great stuff. So tell me, what does Click do? We would be with thirteen retail stores, as you as you originally said, and we would supply uh, home office computer products to um, to people throughout of Ireland. Um, like we're predominantly, we started here in Cavan, uh, ironically, where this show is coming from thirteen years ago. But I'd be originally from Navan, uh, and that's where we would have started the first company. Right. Uh, my objective is to put 30 stores in Ireland because we believe there's a need for what we do. We're a, we're a supplier of home media products, but we're also a support agent. There's a lot of people out there who will supply the product. and But when there's a problem, you put it in a box and send it back to the manufacturer. Yes. Yes. Whereas in our environment, all our engineers are trained and in store, all our staff are trained. And what we would provide is the support and service to customers and users and training. Um, and that's, I think, what differentiates us from a lot of the large multinationals. Wow. So you're really giving back to the roots where you were an engineer by hiring new engineers. Yes. So you're continuing a little bit of a cycle, aren't you? Well, the company originally, the company would have been very much sales driven in the early days. But as we developed as a business, we realized that we required... Um, more technical skills and if I look at the staff we would have hired 10 years ago compared to the staff now I mean we in interviewing staff now we they go through a, a whole technical examination if they don't get 80 percent in the first round of the interview they don't get to the next level so each and each person in store must have the ability uh, to strip a laptop nearly blindfolded and put it back together again nice. or an, I, an iPod or an iPhone or whatever I mean so my cracked screen if I arrived in she was even though I was sitting there for about two years, cracked, you could sort that out. Absolutely. We, re we replace screens and iPads, iPhones, laptops. Right. But the biggest area people have is that backing up their data, for example, they forget about it. And they maybe break their phone, lose their phone, uh -huh. and their numbers aren't backed up or their emails aren't backed up. So that's something we do for them as well, storage and backup. And the whole area of cloud technology now where everything is stored remotely off-site. Brilliant. That's a great idea. So listen, if you had advice for somebody who is starting, regardless what kind of business it is in Ireland, what would be your top three tips to keep it going, to keep the momentum going, just to encourage them to keep you know, plodding away? Well, I do a lot of work at the moment with transitional year students where I advise them. I do a lot of work with college students and I do a lot of work with, with young businesses because we have a franchise model which actually people come to us looking to open their own click store. And it, I remember the, the first time I started out, the first area is getting the premises, dealing with landlords, very frightening, dealing with rent, understanding the whole area of how a business starts and runs. I do that now sort of on, right. the, on, the, on the back of a matchbox because that's something that you learned after years. What advice would I give them? Um, to make sure that they, that they don't expand too quick, that okay. they have the right cost uh, mix. So in other words, whatever is coming in is enough to keep the wages and rent paid. I think a lot of people don't realise when they start out, they say, oh, look at that lovely premises, and they, they sort of get this lovely unit, and the landlord says it's five grand a month or three grand a month, and then they don't realise how much it's going to cost to repay it. They don't realise there's rates involved, that there's taxes involved, there's wages involved, there's taxes involved in wages, and then all of a sudden, six months down to it, they find themselves 20, 30,000 euros in debt, and they're going, where did this all come from? So what we probably try and do is get people to start small, uh, run their business, predominantly themselves, develop their actual cash flow, and making sure that they're at least at a break-even point within six months, so that they're actually trying to get as much business in as the cost actually requires. 
And that's one area that I find that when a lot of people come to me for advice and they say, listen, you've 13 stores, you have over 60 staff working for you, you know, how do you manage the whole lot? Yeah. You can't manage it unless you have a team built and you have to build a team first of all um, before you can actually get there. So can people contact you directly? Is oh, there a link to you? Absolutely. Well, I mean, can I, you tell them just into camera now? Okay, right? well, I mean, our, our website is www.click.ie. Um, my email address is Morris, M-A-U-R-I-C-E, at click.ie. And I'd be only too delighted um, to for anybody to contact me for advice or even if somebody's looking for work or they're looking to establish their own business, maybe they've got redundancy out of somewhere and they're looking to start their own business. I can't develop 30 stores on my own, but with, with 30 individuals willing to work for themselves, I can give them the tools that they require to develop their own business. Great stuff. Well, you're the man to talk to then, isn't that Absolutely. It? Yeah. Morris, you're brilliant. Listen, we'll get you in again and we'll have a proper talk. Um, Click.ie, guys, that's the one to contact if you want to find out anything more about Morris Muldoon and how he successfully achieved something that a lot of businesses, unfortunately, didn't do in the past decade. In fact, it's a great accreditation to what he's achieved himself, coming from an engineer and now hiring engineers to work in his business as well. So um, if people want to get to know you, again, it's click. Yeah, very straightforward and it's great to have you in studio Thanks, Marie. Marie. Lovely. thank you Morris for coming in lovely thank great you very much you. cheers now I think we're actually going to go and we're going to have a look at something very extraordinary that a young woman has achieved and successfully done in the past few months our next guest is already excitedly waiting in the wings but for us a little bit of this <laughs> You want to save a life, can you share a dream? Imagine that's your child, you sit awake and watch them sleep. You want to see them grow, you want to see them shine. And if they hurt deep inside, you die. Don't walk away, don't you walk away. You can make a difference You can be a change Don't walk away Don't walk away You can make a difference You can be a change something special there it's amazing I remember meeting her only last year and she was talking about her great plans and it's amazing how projection and intention come together all at the same time Casey Lee you're very welcome into Hi, the studio good to you. see you <laughs> listen tell me about this charity single how did you get involved and how did it start well basically 
Um, a few months ago, I was looking to make an album, and I was looking to just so write songs. That was the main aim. And then uh, Tracy Fitzgerald, which is the little girl's mom, got in contact and said, you know, do you want to do something for us? And funnily enough, that happened like the night I was talking to my manager about it. I said, I want to start writing and I start doing stuff. The next morning, she sent me a message and she was like, do you want to write a song? I was like, well, that worked out. That worked out nice enough. And then it just went from there. We went to, that took about, I'd say for myself, it took about two or three weeks to write. And then we went into the studio. That took about another two weeks, maybe. And then, you know, like promotion and that kind of thing took yeah. a little while, but it, it got there eventually. And it, Fabulous it, stuff. Yeah. So tell me the cause, the reason for the charity single itself. It's Casey like yourself, so I do know yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know there's like this huge confusion between the two of us. Because our names are like the same, obviously. People send me messages like a few weeks back, and um, Casey Fitzgerald had a, I think, a sore back or something. And then she said, someone sent me a message saying, oh, how is your back? And I was like, it's not me. Uh, <laughs> it's not, it's not but me. she's a trooper, isn't she? Yeah, she's really good. And she's, she's passed her surgery now, so we know that. She this is, is yeah. for recuperation and physio yeah. and everything. Yeah, so basically it's just for for her aftercare, so it's her therapy and that kind of thing. Perfect. And um, like a, another bonus as well came with the song where the Nelson Mandela's Children's Fund came on board. Which Fabulous. Is, yeah, that was, that was a good enough moment as well, because obviously so many South hits. African as well. Let me guess. You're into the thousands at this stage. Yeah, I think it's going on to its second thousands. It's 2000. And uh, the single as well made it to number three on the iTunes Soul and R&B. Which was, yeah, like, which was a, it was a great moment for, for well, Listen, us. we mustn't forget. Will you say a little hello to Casey there? Because she could be oh, sure right, and her mom as well. So. <laughs> hey, Casey, how's it going? It should be time for bed. So you should probably be in bed around about <laughs> now. <laughs> if you are away. We both say well done to you, Casey. Yeah, I'm yeah. sure all the surgery and everything that you had to go through. It's just amazing what you achieved. And Casey here is doing a great job on your behalf and as well as your mum and the rest of the team beside you. Definitely. Listen, apart from doing charity singles, you're a bit of a songstress yourself. How is that yeah, all going? It's going really good. Yeah, like we have, um, I started writing some more stuff now. Um, nothing permanent yet for suddenly, you know, I don't want to rush anything. And actually, I really appreciated the way the other single came along because we didn't rush it. So I don't want to rush anything, but the, the song I'm working on right now is, it's really really like it's really uh good for me anyway like it's it's ah. it's, um, it's an up tempo number so it's very different to uh to don't walk away but it's also something that can connect to people and you have a band now behind you yeah yeah i have a so band tell me who have you got on on the band at this okay stage? so if we have a band it's tulio cow <laughs> uh bruno wash tech and that's it, and myself as well. Brilliant. On and keys. you play keyboards as yeah, well. Yeah, I play keyboards, yeah. Fantastic. So what's next for you, Casey Lee? Next up, we have the, hopefully in the next few months, maybe a couple of months, we'll have a single release. And then just before summer, hopefully, we have an album release. So it'll be a single off the album. Brilliant. And then throughout the summer, I'm, I'm touring. So it's Great stuff. And you have a Facebook page. People can contact do, you yeah. on, haven't you? That's KCL official. So if they want to go to, uh, it'll be YouTube is KCVR. That's the only different one. Twitter is KCL official. My website's KCL official. Facebook's KCL official. So just find that. All the other suspects as well. I'm on that. Brilliant stuff. But listen, we're running out of t time here already. Already? <laughs> Maybe the next time you can come in and we'll hear a song from you. Yeah, I think yeah, that'd, that'd be a great idea. That'd be brilliant. But I have to commend you on what you've done. Definitely with the Thank charity single. Much. But I'm looking forward to catching you at live gig soon. So yeah, when's yeah. the next one? The next one will be March 15th and nice. it'll be in Dublin and it's going to be, I'm performing for the final of the Web Factor. They have like a, a competition and they call me in to perform for the final, which is awesome. So, Fantastic yeah. stuff. Well, listen, put my name down on the door there for Definitely. that one and I'll cool. come and see cool. you. And thank you for coming in no studio problem. today. Listen, that's it for our Fireside Sounds tonight. It's just been an amazing show and time disappears so fast, like they say, when you're having fun, time fl flies as well. And we're going to see you next week, same time here in the Farside Sound Studios. And a goodbye from me and a goodbye from Casey. Take care. <laughs>